Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about memorization with Anki. Anki is a flashcard application that can be used to memorize words, phrases, and grammar more easily and efficiently. Anki is 100% free to download on PC and Android and Mac and also has tons of amazing add-ons to make learning things even quicker. So how does Anki work? Anki is a flashcard application, meaning that you have decks filled with cards containing information you want to learn. There will be a front side of the card showing a word or a question, and if you flip it around, there will be a back side that usually contains a translation of that or an answer to the question. Unlike apps like Duolingo or Memrise, you personally decide whether or not you've answered right or wrong, meaning that if you cheat in any way, you will be punished because you won't learn as fast as if you were to be honest with yourself. And also, a common problem I have with Duolingo and Memrise and apps like that is that if you make a typo, even if you know the answer and you know you've done it right, but you press the wrong key on your keyboard, the app will still tell you you're wrong and you get punished for that. This is something you just don't get with flashcards and with Anki. Anki is an app where you have lots of decks. So which decks should you download? So the ones I personally recommend, I'll be putting them in the description box of this video and further down the course page. There are two decks that I recommend. There's one called Basic Hiragana and there's another called Basic Katakana. Basic hiragana will teach you hiragana and basic katakana will teach you the katakana. From my perspective and in my personal opinion, any other decks promising to teach you grammar or kanji or vocabulary will only be able to teach you relatively basic stuff. When it comes to more complicated grammar structures or vocabulary or kanji as well, I personally don't recommend downloading other people's pre-made decks but rather make your own decks from scratch as you encounter new grammar and vocabulary, whether it be from textbooks or immersion in the language. Because then you get to use your brain and output what you've just learned, which helps you strengthen the connections in your brain. Anki also has the ability to utilize add-ons, which can help you by modifying the application to give you more functions that the base application doesn't have. There is one add-on that I personally recommend which also will be in the description or in the course. It's called Japanese Pitch Accent. As you may or may not know, if you've seen my part about Pitch Accent, Pitch Accent is very, very important in Japanese. The Pitch Accent add-on gives you a new button that you can click on. You can type in Hiragana or Katakana for a word that you want to type in the pitch for. And then when you press enter, it tells you type in the accent of this word. And then you can type in L for low or H for high. And then when you press enter, the add-on will automatically generate lines to show you the accent pattern. The add-on does also come with a function, a feature, where you can click on a button to automatically look up the words in a dictionary and add in the pitch accents. Should you do this? I think that's up to you personally. I would not do that because, again, as with making your own cards from scratch, it allows you to output what you've just learned. If you look up the pitch accent in a dictionary, find it, learn it, output it by writing the pitch accent personally into the card you're making right now, that will also allow you to output that and further strengthen the connections in your brain. Further down, there are links to download Anki. Anki is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. It's free. There is also something called Anki Droid for Android, which is a group of people that ported the app to Android. It is free because it's a non-profit project as Anki is open source. There is also Anki Mobile for iOS, which is $24.99. It's a one-time payment. It is a bit pricey, but it's the only way that the original developer is making money off of it. I have it on my phone and I recommend getting that if you have an iPhone as well. That's pretty much all there is to do. Anki is a very good way to learn vocabulary and to learn grammar, especially early when you're starting out or if you're at an intermediate level. Finally, I really want to give a special thanks to my friend Stian, Stitaro, who taught me a lot about Anki. You can follow him on Twitter, GitHub, he's a really good programmer. He started learning Japanese way later than I did, but reached a much higher level way faster than I did. That's it for memorization with Anki. Don't forget to check out the rest of the course on the link down below. And I'll see you in the next episode. Mata ne!